Hey everybody! Welcome back to Oprah Cat playing The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. It's been about a week and a half since I played this game because I just got back from uh, a trip to Colorado uh, like two days ago. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to film some more stuff. Anyway, here we are. Right off the bat with the Poe. Snow Peak Ruins. Yeah, the scary Yeti monster has his own place. So right off the bat. You uh I'm not sure how I missed. Or whatever, I'll take it. I'll take it. Got a postal. Yep. Oh, hello. Is there another one somewhere? So this is an interesting place, isn't it? Oh, hi. Um... I had an empty bottle, so I did quick thinking to get it. So now I have some lantern oil. Because that's what your true jelly is. So look up there. There's a big block of ice. Nothing I could do about that right now. Whoa, hey look at that! There's a gigantic portrait of the, uh, of the queen there. Were, th were these- were this bit there before? I don't even know. I have no idea if those paintings were there. Look at the, uh, ice on the floor. Reflecting the ceiling above. I should really get that ceiling fixed up there. That's another one. Um, who's that guy? Uh, this way. Who is that guy? Well, whatever. I'm just done wasting time. There's a set of double doors right here. Can you just slide into place? That's very strange. Who's this woman? Wait, who? Ah, uh, sorry, I have sickness. Ah, uh, come closer. Ah, uh. who the hell are you? I'm not sure if these paintings were in the uh, first versions of the games. The cute little human has been told me you come. You look, want to look at Mira? Ah. Uh. My husband found it, but a pretty thing, ah. Uh. But since I get Mira, I get sick, and then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since Mira. So we lock bedroom on third floor, where it hangs, huh? Uh, I, I tell you where Key is. You got the map of the mansion! Cool, I guess, thank you. Even makes head blurry, but it probably hear it in the room marked by the symbol. How do I like search the? I I don't. I forgot how to pan the map. I was trying to figure it out. Whatever. But right now, can't even get up. Would you bring it to me? Uh. Start with door right here. Yeah, so there's three doors out of here. The other two doors are locked right now, so let's go this way. Ah, ah you! Wife look bad, ah, uh, not healthy since mirror. So I make soup for her. Fish from Zora, most nutritious. You tired, uh, you have some. It give you energy. I don't have any, uh, empty bottles. I suppose... That I could take out my actual lantern and fill up the bottle. Because here we have some soup that he's cooking up. So we can scoop it. 
You put simple soup in your bottle. It smells like fish broth. Replenish two hearts, which is actually kind of perfect because I only have two hearts to heal. But anyway, over here is uh, this chick over here. I couldn't uh, take out my sword. It wouldn't let me. Well, that's the disturbing thing. Whew, free at last. Gracious, you are that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice it is to see you again. Well, now that we've found each other again, let's, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you, if you want to walk out, just let me know. You reunited with Uku. And Link doesn't care anymore. He's not disturbed by that thing anymore. I still am, because I have a weak stomach for creepy things. I could grab more soup, but I might as well keep this bottle open. Well, never mind. I can fill it up, and then if I need to replenish two hearts, then I can fill it up again. Whatever. It's fine. You put simple soup. Yep. So I guess uh, I can go out through this door. Whatever works. So here's a uh, moving puzzle blocks here. I I'm just kind of guessing. So there's a block of ice there covering a switch. There's also a switch here, so maybe I want to do that actually. So let me try and figure this out. So maybe I did want to uh, push the block this way instead. Yeah, that that'll hit the the other block, and then just push it down until it lands on the switch. And we're good. That's the door I came in from, and this is the door that just opened. Oh god, what was that sound? A little bit disturbed? Place to dig under here. Oh. Well. That looks like the bedroom. And it happens to have a heart on the lock. Why? That's where you, uh, partake in your bedroom activities? Wow. I am sure I'm aggressive. So speaking of uh, Wolf Link, I had just uh, finished getting caught up with watching the Breath of the Wild footage from uh, E3 2016. Um, I'm not completely through all the footage they have yet, but I did watch the video where they showed the functionality of the Wolf Link amiibo within the game. That's pretty cool, you can just call in the, uh, the Wolf Link and it'll fight for you and that's just generally a cool thing. But you notice there's something weird here. It doesn't show that it's diggable, but it is. I am really excited to play Breath of the Wild. I can't wait for it to come out. I'm, I plan on uh, streaming it on Twitch, but probably not until like, you know, maybe a few months after its release. Give people time to play the game so that when I play it blind, they'll already have a sense of what I'm doing. Alright, they'll probably be more immersed in it. Because I encourage people to uh, play the game before watching me play it, but whatever. That was actually pretty smooth. But yeah, those things are kind of scary. If they touch you, they freeze you in place. And I have a key. 
Yeah, that game looks like it's gonna be really, really fun. Because I love exploration kind of stuff. Oh, I, I didn't want to talk to you. I love exploration, and it just seems like a more of like a survival game more than a like Zelda. Because they they already mentioned it was going to be deviating from the normal Zelda formula, and you know that's fine. And it looks like it's going to be more like Skyrim kind of survival game, but it looks like it's going to be really good. And, you know, for having them delay it, like, what, two or three years? It better be a damn good game. I'm looking forward to playing it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it for the Wii U, since I'm playing on a Wii U right now, obviously. Or if I'm gonna play on the NX. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the NX at all, but I probably will anyway. Nope, I got denied. Okay, so I hate these guys so much. They're not so bad right now since there's only two of them. And I'm not, like, fighting for my life right now. There's, like, bits of furniture everywhere. It looks so breakable. So, this... You got the Ordon pumpkin. This pumpkin was grown in your hometown of Ordon. He's just like, what? Why, why am I holding this? What's this? This isn't right. She got the wrong location. Want to go back and try to get her to remember where the key is? Probably should. Yeah, there's uh, the Arbiter's Grounds right there. And the uh, Princess... Or Queen Rutella, not Princess. Sure is the princess. So there's a prince, a princess, and a queen in this game. So I guess that means that I'm gonna crawl over here. Oh. Uh, that wasn't very good, was it? Can I get over here? Push this block down. Uh, apparently I can't do anything with this block. That's cool. Whatever. Ow. <laughs> nice job rolling into it. So yeah, we gotta go uh, talk to the woman yeti about why she led us to a pumpkin instead of the bedroom key. Why do you have your bedroom locked up in the first place and why the hell is it outdoors? You find it, huh? What? Pumpkin? But why there? Uh, sorry. Husband in kitchen right now. Take pumpkin to him. I try to remember. Okay. She seems very light and floaty. <laughs> what flavor? Huh? Uh? Pumpkin! You have pumpkin, huh? Oh, that's weird. Pumpkin, pumpkin, ah! Uh. So basically, he's supposed to push me you know, like push the pumpkin out of me. I'm normally on the ground when I talk to him, but I did decide not to. So he like pushed at my feet and like it was weird. Thanks, ah. Uh, you taste if you want. So if I drink what's left of this, fill up my one heart. Scoop up. You got you put good soup in your bottle. It smells like pumpkins. Replenish four hearts. So now the soup is a little bit better improved now. Ah. Needs more punch, ah. Needs something. Something in my belly. Whatever. You're a very strange individual. You gave Pumpkin. 
Thank you, uh. I maybe remember. Could be in that room, I think. Go to a room marked by symbol. So it's gonna be up in that, like, very top room above the cylinder thing. How do I pan? I forgot how to pan the map. Whatever. So now I can go in here. That's cool. Oh, getting attacked by wolves again. Oh god. Oh god, that thing is scary. I forgot it was there. Oh my god. It's breathing icy breath on me. I forgot it was there. That thing is scary as hell. I think I'm safe over here though. You not see how scary this thing is? It's gonna breathe fire. Ice on me. I almost said breathe fire. No, it doesn't do that. So I want to go over here to that room, but there's a big scary guy blocking it. Um, I don't think I can destroy him in any way, so let's just go up here and get out of there. Because holy crap, it's scary! I can hear him breathing on me. I can't open these doors as a wolf, so I gotta go back to human mode. And we will see what's on the other side of these doors in the next episode. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.